Good morning, guys. It's NSG, and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. In the last video, um, this guy just started opening shops, and now we're selling him crap. Get money. Because, you know, money is good. Because money's that's what I want. Money. Oh, no. But that song's awesome from Earthbound. <laughs> Even though it's not really a song, it's just dialogue. <laughs> Okay, so yes, we're gonna sell all the stuff that we got from the mining crap because good news is that will get you a lot of money. Same with the flowers. I recommend picking those up because they can get you a pretty good amount of money, actually. Uh, and, alright, yep. I mean, why not, right? And I'm gonna sell the milker because I'm not gonna put any use to that really in this LP. Alright, because, uh, you know, I don't use the milker at all. Alright, there you go. Sweet, 1720. Alright. There's not really anything left to sell, so I'm going to buy the fishing pole. This is a good item. You can also buy the brush, but I'm thinking about just doing that later in the game. No, I do not want to sell that. Okay. So now that we're back to this speedy galore crap. <laughs> oh man, that was a hilarious video last time. I like overlooked it and like, holy crap, this, this looks hilarious with him running. Alright, let's water our plants, and as you can see, we are getting progress on almost everything. Everything except the watermelon. Hopefully we'll get some progress on that soon. Alright, there we go. Alright, come on, let's hurry up. It's okay. That's, only my, that's my only complaint in this game, that the watering, even in fast forward, it takes kind of a while. Oh god dang it. Man, my guy, I, I, I really need to take care of him, but at the same time, I need to take care of my farm. Alright, there we go. They make needs so complicated in this game. Just because you have to take care of your dog, and he'll take your food. Half of it. Ugh. Well, we watered everything, and I'm dizzy again. Shit. Alright, come on. No more messing around. Okay, we're filled up for next time. Let's get moving. Oh yes, he got us a lot of money there. We're up to 2000s now, which is pretty awesome considering last video we were up in the 1000s. Okay, yeah, so let's move the cows inside because, you know, I like to keep my animals a balance between inside and out, but we're out, we're out of food. So when you're out of food, take out your sickle and start mowing away. This is how you get free food for your animal. If there is such thing as good food or good fodder, whatever. <laughs> But in a way, like, it's bad because it can make your animals sick, I guess. I was not aware of this, Aiming Fire told me. But, like, I was not aware of this, so I'm kind of glad I knew in Future Advance. Because I was kind of thinking of showing it off for the LP, but after knowing that, um, I decided you guys can just show it off to yourselves if you want. Because <laughs> I want to show off as much as I can in this game and I get tired again. But, like... At the same time, I don't want to, you know, get my animals sick because, um, that's not good news at all and I cannot take care of an animal well when it's sick, so it'd probably die. And crap, I'm still hungry. Okay. Takaruru, why do you have to get in my way? Okay. Here, take your dang food. Wow, you eat it right in front of me? I should've just taken two. Whatever. Okay. Uh, no, I was not hitting something. I actually just hit my knee on something really hard. Oh, wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> okay, but whatever. Um. Okay, yeah, fans closing up shop. I don't really care. You don't need to show that cutscene every time because we're done shopping. Once I was like after Van's shop and he closed right in front of my face when I was trying to buy something. It pissed me off. Because <laughs> then I had to wait like five more days for the fishing pole. So yes, Van shows up on the third day of and eighth day of each month. So keep that in mind for future shoppings, whatnot. Whatever that you call them. C come on. Oh shoot, it's locked. That's not good. Jeez, okay, well I guess I'm not getting Celia crap today. Well, we might as well just go to sleep at this point. Alright, come on. <laughs> Alright, but before we go to sleep, let's milk the cow as usual. Thank you, Bessie, for being such a money maker. Alright. There we go. Let's get out of here. Alright. 
Alright, now let's get out of here. In the future, I'll probably buy more cows because Bessie's going to stop milking at the end of the year. So most likely we will sell her and use that money to get another cow. Since I forgot to save, let's do it now. <laughs> yes, I have nightmares because my guy's pretty starving, which is kind of sad, but at the same time I want to feed my dog. Um, I'll probably stop with that though. Once I find out whether the dog runs away or not, no, I've still not checked on that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check it out on next video. Promise. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, the problem with this whole thing usually is, is the fact that, you know, I'm not just worried about the dog running away, but I think somehow he has an impact on the end, maybe, I don't know. Uh, by the way guys, don't spoil yourselves and you know, look up the ending because if you do it, I kind of feel bad for you because you, you're kind of, you're going to feel worse if you play the game before, if you play through the whole game before knowing what's going to happen. So that's my thoughts on that. Alright, there we get some more mugs worth. All right, now what to do today? Okay, phew, you better not eat that. You get out of here. I have to, you know, feed myself. Okay. Bessie, I'm gonna milk you. Thank you. All right, now with that done, I'm gonna put some fodder in and leave. By the way, that caveman guy, he accepts fodder as a gift, which I find hilarious, but apparently that's what he likes to eat, so that's kind of weird at the same time. And I know Takaruru probably didn't sell the money, but let's just check anyways. No. Did not give us our money for today. Screw you. Okay, but we're going to order a chicken because they are also money makers. Alright, let's keep going. Hmm, what to do now? Hmm, how hilarious that would sound if my voice was sped up. Should I do that? Nah, <laughs> that would just kind of ruin it. Wait, the commentary wouldn't even match. Wow, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh well. Hmm, there we go. There's some mugs worth. Eat. Alright, flowers for money and gifts. <laughs> okay. Very generous with the flowers. AKA okay, money. <laughs> All right, go upstairs. Oh, well, screw you, Celia. This is the second time you weren't home. Oh, there. And there she at. There we go. Oh. She was kind of hard to see with Vesta. And, you know, since this post contacted, I kind of forgot. <laughs> so that explains that. All right, now with not much left to do, we should go back here. Um, water. Why not? Oh man. I usually just water my cops right in the morning and then usually around noon. If you check out the cops now, we're definitely getting progress, which is awesome. So we'll be getting some payday when that happens. Some lovely payday, which I would enjoy for it thoroughly because I need money. Seriously, you can get rich off crop days. A lot of people keep them for like needs, but I don't really do that. Once you get the chicken, you can probably, you know, neither eat that for food, maybe, or just sell it. That's where the chickens can come in handy at the same time. Well, dang, I'll be darned. You know, you got you got to stop being tired, man. All right. Yeah, I'll probably stop feeding my dog by next video. Kind of sad, though. <laughs> All right. Let's get this flowers. Sweet. All right, what else should we do now? <sighs> I have no idea, I tell you. Sweet. Finished with all that collecting. Because that's just basically m free money right there, I tell ya. Alright. There's a ruby. She's got the useful, most useful item in the game. In like a later chapter, so you gotta make sure to check her out. 
that's advice from Amy and Fire. I had no idea, but apparently it's called the Ruby Spice. If someone knows, give me some more information on that, because I need to know. <laughs> Alright. Then again, Amy and Fire might have given me all the possible information there is to know, but you know, better be safe than sorry, huh? So now we're testing out the fishing pole, and gosh dang, I hate when that happens. When you're hungry, the hunger scene will interrupt your fishing, which, you know, really sucks. It's too bad, too, because I'm not even going to eat that fish. But here it is, the hot chip. Alright, so let's try again. Gosh dang it, uh, I'm waiting to fish, but you're not showing up. Screw you. Ugh. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, well, it looks like I did have a good timing, anyways, then. Shoot. I gave up on fishing today. <laughs> um, alright. Let's. Hmm, what should we do now? I know I'm calling the video soon because you know I can see the timer <laughs> but I'm not sure what we should do oh gosh dang it stop being so hungry do I get my money today oh baby thank you alright we're back at the 2000s that's a great way to end it off 900 geez almost a thousand right there man alright Oh my gosh, perfect timing. Okay. Give me some milk before I go to bed. Eh, how awkward would that be to say to a woman? Heh, <laughs> sorry. Alright. Put, put some more milk in here and finally let's just freaking go to bed. My guy's tired. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. It's been NSG. You've been an awesome crowd, and I will see you all later. Bye.